Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's Minister Lou. Right now we are reading out the Gospels of John. We are on chapter 10. Let's jump into John's account of the life of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Because sheep hear, sheep know their herder's voice. They do. They really do. I've seen it in action on video where people came up trying to get the sheep's attention, and they didn't listen to him one bit. But then the herder slash owner walked up, started calling them, and they all ran to the sheep herder. <laughs> They knew him. They knew who that was. They were very willing to listen. So I get what he's saying here. And when he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them. But they understood not what things they were which he had spake unto them. He was essentially saying that he was the shepherd. That his sheep know his voice. I think we're getting ready to get into that. And his sheep will follow him. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever come before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep did not hear them I am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture the thief cometh not but for but for to steal and to kill and to destroy I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And he did. He gave his life for the sheep. For his people. His flock. But he that is a hireling. And not the shepherd. Whose own. The sheep are not. See the wolf. Coming. And leaveth the shepherd, the sheep, and flee. Not the shepherd, the sheep, and flee. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so. I, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And he did. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. I believe he's talking about the Gentiles there. Because he didn't just come to save the Jewish people. He came to make a way for every single person on the earth. Jew and Gentile alike. And he's saying there won't be a separation. It's going to be one fold. One group. And one shepherd. Therefore doth my father love me. Because I lay down my life that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, 
and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received from my father. So he's telling them, none of you can take me out. I lay it down willingly. But if I didn't want it to happen, it wouldn't. And even after it's taken from me, I'm going to take it back again. You can't keep me dead. But I don't believe they would have understood what he was saying. There was a division, therefore, again among the Jews for these sayings. So they were divided about what he was saying. And many of them said, He hath a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him? They're like, Yo, this guy's crazy. He's possessed. I don't know why you were listening to him. This man's not right. Others said, These are not the words of him that hath a devil. Can a devil open eyes of the blind? So they were using his miracle of healing the blind. Like, devils can't do that. They can't do that at all. They can't restore sight. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked into the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long do you make us doubt you? If you're the Christ, just tell us, man. Just be out. Just be all like, yeah, man, I'm the Christ. Just like that. You ain't gotta speak in parables or the things that you do. If you're Him, just let us know that you're Him. Jesus answered them, "I told you." And ye believe not. The works I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. It's like, I told you who I was, and you don't want to hear it. <laughs> the things that I do, he's doing, I'm doing in God's name. I'm not doing them of me. They're bearing witness. They're telling you who I am by the works that I'm doing. But you're not seeing it. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. You're not mine. You don't belong to me. I told you this. My sheep know my voice. You don't. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any pluck them out of my hand. So he's saying, these are mine, and no one could take them away from me. No one. No one can take them. No man, no devil. These are my sheep. They'll always be my sheep. I'll always have them. My Father, which give them me, is greater than all, and none is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. He's saying, my Father's greater than me, and ain't nobody taking nothing from him. Nobody. It's God. I and my Father are one. Whew. Jesus just said, we are one. I am equal with Him. We are one in the same. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone Him. For in their eyes, He just committed blasphemy again because He just equated Himself to God. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do ye stone me? Like, you've seen everything I've done. Which one are you going to stone me for? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou think, being a man, and makest thyself God. He said, you're sitting here saying that you are the, are God, essentially. You're saying you're his, his equal, his just as good as him and that's why we're getting ready to kill you Jesus answered them is it not written in your law I said ye are gods if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken say ye of him whom the father hath sanctified and sent out into the world 
thou blasphemest, because I said I am the Son of God? So you're saying I am blasphemed because I say I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe me not, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand, and went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized, and there he abode. So they wanted to grab him up again. They were like, now nah, we're going to take this guy. And he was gone. He just got away from him. Effortlessly, more than likely. It doesn't say so, but in my mind, I'm going to say that it was effortlessly. I don't believe Jesus would have to put up a fight to get away from them. Just walk right through them like he wasn't even there. But they did not like him equating himself to God. They didn't like him saying he was the son of God. And they really didn't like him saying, you don't want to believe in me, fine, but believe my works. That you know that the Father is in me and that I am in him. And many resorted unto him and said, John did no miracle. But all things that John spake of this man were true. So they were like, John didn't do no miracles for us. But he talked about you. and Everything he said about you was true. And many believed on him there. Just. <laughs> Man. You think you had. Some bad experiences. With religious people. Jesus had. Loads. Of horrible experiences. With religious people. Loads. And it's all in black and white. Just written here. Loads. Just wow. I thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I really enjoy sharing the life of Christ with others. It's good to know this. Mm, excuse me. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, everyone. Our Lord and Savior is coming back. He is going to take his children, his flock, and he is going to judge and pour out his wrath upon everyone who is not taken. If you're not ready to meet Jesus, it's time to repent of your sins. It's time to come to know who our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is and to accept him as our Lord and Savior, to accept him as the Son of God, to understand about his work on the cross for us and how we didn't deserve it but him and the Father loved us so much that they seen it through. It's time to know about his resurrection and understand about how he conquered sin, death, and hell. It's time to come to know who our Heavenly Father is and how much he truly loves us. He loves us so much that he made his son a living sacrifice for us, someone who knew no sin to take the punishment of all sin at one time. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.